Do you know what a property disclosure form is and how it affects you as a buyer or as a seller? The property disclosure form is also known as a PCDS or PCS. And in this video, we're gonna find out what the advantages and disadvantages from both sides are. But before we do, be sure to subscribe to the channel, press the little bell symbol beside it, and give the video a thumbs up. So a PCDS is basically a three-page form in Prince Edward Island that the owner or the vendors would fill out that disclose facts about the property. Each question has four answers. Yes, no, do not know, does not apply. So they would meticulously go through this list, answer the questions, and then on the second page at the bottom, there's room for additional notes. From a seller's perspective, in my opinion, it's a great idea. I've always believed in full disclosure and transparency. However, some agents and brokers feel that by filling out a PCDS, they make, the vendors may be making warranties, claims, or myths, truths about the property that could get them into litigation down the road. Some agents and brokers think by disclosing everything, it can protect them from litigation. So flip a coin. In my opinion, it's good to have a PCDS filled out because sometimes purchasers feel that the vendors are hiding something if it's not. From a buyer's perspective, it's nice to have a PCDS. If one isn't filled out, you can ask for one to be filled out or make it a condition of the sale so you're a little more uh, inclusive of the facts of the property. However, I would still get a home inspection done and not use the PCDS as a basis for buying a purchase because it is the vendor filling it out. 99.9% .9 of people are honest, but you don't want to be that 0.01% result as a buyer finding out you're getting into a situation that wasn't described as it should have been. Thank you very much for watching this video. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel, press the little bell, thumbs up below. And if you have any questions about this topic, anything about Prince Edward Island real estate at all or PEI in general, put them in the comments below.